Hey there, what's up? Matthew Parsons, and a lot of people have been asking what is the one word that my wife would use to describe our first kiss. She's sitting next to me. And so I thought I would share it with you and share the story behind quite possibly one of the worst kisses ever. Anyway, so so there's there's a ton of backstory here, right? Because a lot happened on that day, okay? And so I'm gonna tell the whole story just because it's so it's just so part of our history. So it was a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday and it was the Wednesday of vacation Bible school at our church and she was a leader and I was a leader and <laughs> I was working at the church at the time. I was the executive sanitation engineer at the church. And AKA head janitor. <laughs> and so we had been dating for just a little bit of time and uh, I was absolutely smitten with her. And so I went out and decided I am going to plan an awesome date and it is gonna end with an epic smooch. <laughs> And so I booked, uh, I booked reservations at the fanciest hotel, or not hotel, crap, at the, the look she gave me, at the fanciest restaurant, at the, at the fanciest restaurant in town, and, uh, and I decided I'm going to ask her out on this date, and I'm going to get her flowers, and, uh, and so sure enough, I go and I get flowers for her and I get them all ready and I put them into a vase. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I put them into a vase. And she came to church that morning, it was a Wednesday of vacation Bible school, and I was sitting there with a vase of flowers for her. And I said, would you go out on a date with me tonight? And instantly, she looks at me knowing that I am the janitor at the church where they hold funerals, and then I've got a face full of flowers, and I'm asking her to go on a date with me. And of course, the instant thought is, she asked me, didn't you ask me? Yeah, she asked me. She's like, did you get those from a funeral? And I was mortified, I'm like, no, I swear I didn't. I still don't think she believes me. Uh, do you believe me? <laughs> it's a so-so, not really, maybe, anyway. So I asked her on a date using flowers, not from a funeral, the day of vacation Bible school. And other stuff going on in life. Her parents were getting ready to move and she was living at home and uh, so they were having a garage sale. I still lived at home at the time and uh, my parents were out of town. And so the day goes on, I go to work after volunteering and all this stuff. And, uh, she goes her separate way, and I get a phone call around three o'clock, and there and and it's the next door neighbor of my grandpa. He's like, "Hey, you need to come over right now. There's been an accident." So I go over to my grandma and grandpa's house, and uh, and sure enough, there's blood everywhere. And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on?" It turns out my grandpa had been using a table saw. <laughs> on the day that I wanted to smooch my wife for the first time. <laughs> my grandpa was using a table saw and he had proceeded to be using the table saw and went zip, zip, zip. Cut off three of his fingers. Three, there you go. He'd cut off three of his fingers using a table saw. And my parents were out of town and so I'm the next call. And of course I go downstairs and uh, you know, looking to see what's going on and sure enough there's the table saw and it's got the flesh still on the blades it was nasty it was horrible and my grandma was not in a position where she could handle stuff like this okay she was not in a position where she was um, capable of understanding all that was going on around us so I had to call Janice up and I had to say hey listen goose or at the time Janice I said to him, I had to say listen I've got to cancel our day am I getting this all right so far all right good so I cancel our date for that night. I'd stolen those flowers from the funeral for no reason. <laughs> and I cancel our date. And uh, the, here's the best part. 
Okay, not the best part overall, because the kiss is the best part, and we're going to get to that. But, here's the deal. <coughs> I, I'm there at my grandparents' house, and my grandparents' neighbor comes out, and we start talking. He said, yeah, he said it was the weirdest thing. I was outside, and I'm mowing my yard, and I look over, and your grandpa was just sitting on his front porch. And he said, I'm, I'm mowing and stuff, and your grandpa sees me, and he just kind of, you know, he was sitting there, and he just kind of waved, and he said, I waved back, and just kept mowing my yard and he said all of a sudden then the this ambulance pulls up and sure enough you know your grandpa goes out and meets it and they start talking and your grandpa gets in the ambulance and leaves <laughs> well what grandpa had done is he had cut off the three fingers grandma was upstairs he was downstairs in the basement he had gone upstairs grabbed a bunch of paper towel grabbed some ice and gone downstairs, wrapped his fingers, wrapped his hand, gone outside, not told grandma that he had cut his fingers off and that he was waiting for the police or for the ambulance. And so I'm asking him afterwards, I'm like, <laughs> first off, I would have been freaking out, right? I'd be crying, I'd be, I'd be begging her to take care of me. But I'm like, well, why didn't you, you know, what, why'd you go upstairs and get the paper towel? He's like, well, I didn't want to bleed off the carpet. <laughs> Dude, that's so priceless. All right. So, take care of Grandma and Grandpa, get everything squared away. It's about 9, 10 o'clock at night at this point, and I'm still just aching to see this beautiful girl. And so I, I, uh, I call her up and I go, hey, listen, I tell Grandma and Grandpa to take care of, and our dates come, you know, on put. But do you want to go out and uh, do you want to go out and have, uh, go out on a walk? She said, sure. So we went for a walk in her neighborhood. You know, her parents were having the garage sale and they'd been working till late. So we went out, we went walking in the neighborhood and we were over at, what's the school, Huntington? Is that what it was? All right, Huntington Elementary. Elementary? Okay, all right, Huntington Elementary School. And this just tension, it was there. Do you remember the tension? Yeah, she's smiling. Come on. Do you remember tension? Tension's not the word. What, what's the word? Anticipation. Excitement. <laughs> so there's this excitement in the air. The air is crackling with electricity. And, <laughs> and so she goes and she sits down on a picnic table. And she's up on the top table part. And I move in. Ready to plant one. And so I move in for a kiss. She tilts her head a little bit. No! Wait, was there any Ted? I don't think that's part of it too, isn't it? Isn't that what made it so horrible? <laughs> there was no head tilting. I don't think there was any head tilting. That's part of what made it so horrible. I've never thought it through to this point. But what made it horrible was that it was like, it was, it was like, right? Imagine like, teeth clinking together you know like lips tight and it was like because eh, there was so much just anticipation and so horrible is the word that has come to describe our first kiss for both of us and it's how I was able to know that when she described our first kiss to our daughter the word that she would use would be horrible because it was now, one last thing that I want to say. I want to give you encouragement. And I want to give you I want to give you hope that hey, just because something may not go exactly as planned the first time, doesn't mean that you should give up on it. Especially when you know that it's something as awesome as a kiss from me. Because Janice didn't give up, so neither should you. God bless. Have a good day.